Is the Canon EIS R the best camera for stop motion animation? Well, with Canon's new stop motion animation firmware installed, it just might be. This upgrade unlocks a massive live view, precise focus tools, and a flicker free animation, all designed to make stop motion work easier and better than ever. But is it actually worth it? I've recently upgraded my EIS R camera and I've been testing it with Dragon Frame. And today, I'll show you exactly what's changed and what this makes the EIS R the ultimate stop motion camera. So if you're a stop motion animator, you know all about how seeing tiny details is everything. But most cameras, even pro ones, only offer a small low res live preview, making it quite hard to spot subtle movements. With the standard EIS R firmware, the live view resolution is a tiny 960 by 640. But with this firmware upgrade, it doubles the size to 1920 by 1280. This makes a huge difference in Dragon Frame. You get more control in animating, especially with complex scenes where small adjustments make all the difference. For this feature alone, the upgrade is worth the money. But it doesn't stop there. This upgrade also unlocks USB manual focus speaking. Focus speaking is a focusing aid that highlights the edges of in-focus areas in your live view usually with a cover overlay, helping you determine what's sharp, especially when using manual focus. To activate focus speaking in Dragon Frame, you can click on the small P in the focus tools, or go to the menu and choose View, Focus Speaking, or simply press the keyboard shortcut, Command F, or Control F on a PC. In that same menu, you can adjust the sensitivity and pick a highlight color that can be a red, yellow, or blue. So you can fine tune it for different lighting conditions. This feature is super helpful to ensure your shots are perfectly in focus. The only drawback, focus peaking isn't available during live view magnification, unless I'm missing something. So let me know in the comments if you know a workaround. I'll be curious to know. Oh, and for Dragon Frame, to access focus peaking, you must turn on manual focus either on the lens switch itself or via the camera menu by selecting MF instead of AF. Next up, is every stop motion animator's worst nightmare, flicker. Here's why this happens. Modern lenses slightly open and close the aperture between shots. So even tiny variation can cause unwanted flickering, making your animation look inconsistent. Before this update, the only fix was to use manual or vintage lenses. But now, thanks to aperture lock, your lens stayed locked during live view and went capturing frames. To test this out, set your aperture to a very close amount, like f22 for example. Then you want to look into the lens during live view, take a picture, and if aperture lock is working, the aperture won't move at all between frames. The result? Normal flicker. This only works with RF lenses and Dragon Frame 5 and newer. But for modern stop motion setups, this is a real game changer. And now for something really exciting, focus, position, memory. This lets you use Dragon's Frame focus programming to create smooth, automated rack focus shots. To set this up, you want to go to the Arc workspace in Dragon Frame, and then create a new axis and set connection to digital focus. If you ever tried animating focus manually, you know how frustrating it can be. With this, you can create perfectly smooth focus shifts without having expensive external motors attached. Important to note, this feature doesn't really work with zoom, as zooming changes can affect the focus range, so prime lenses work best. So how to perform the upgrade? Here's the catch. You can't really install this firmware yourself. It's not like a download from the website or an SD card you can put into your camera and perform the upgrade. You only have two options. Option one, you can buy a Canon camera like the R, RP, R8, R100, or the expensive R6 Mark II with the stop motion animation firmware pre-installed. Or option two, send your existing camera to a Canon service center for a $99 or euros firmware upgrade. I bought my EOS R secondhand, so I sent mine in for the upgrade. Here are the steps to upgrade. You wanna to go to the Canon's website, the link is in the description below, and then create an account and fill out a form. After that, Canon will send you a quote, then you'll ship your camera. Um, Canon will often cover shipping in some, in some regions. In my case, I was really nervous about mailing my camera as this is quite an expensive 
piece of gear. But after careful packaging, I sent mine off via UPS. You can also choose to have an insurance. I chose not to. I like to leave dangerously. But um, the whole process was really smooth. Canon provided regular updates. And within two days, my camera was back and fully upgraded. So is this Canon EOS R with stop motion firmware the best stop motion camera? Well, if you're serious about stop motion, this upgrade, in my opinion, is 100% worth it. You get bigger live view so you can see every detail, focus picking for easier and sharper focus, aperture lock for avoiding your flicker, and focus memory so you can animate focus changes easily. What do you think? Is this the best stop motion camera? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video helped, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay creative and happy animating.